Yes. And, uh, yeah, we're chilling out for the next couple of days. Uh, and even though these temperatures are going to be chilly, just know that these are actually still warmer than average temperatures that we're going to be talking about here the next few. So it's just not as warm uh, as what we've been seeing. But those warm temperatures come back. But first things first, tonight we're in the midst of seeing those temperatures dip down. Currently we have 40 degrees, a uh, little breezy setup, 14 mile per hour winds, gusts at 20 miles per hour. And uh, overall, we're going to continue with these temperatures uh, cooling off into the 20s tonight. So we're at 40 degrees in Pittsburgh. Already have some temperatures dipping into the 30s up towards Butler. Uh, back into Zeely, you go into Catani, go up to Newcastle, upper 30s, mid 30s for Clarion, Franklin and Dubois. Temperatures hanging out at 43 between Blainsburg and Morgantown. A couple of returns on the radar. So if you get a quick little sprinkle or a snowflake, I wouldn't be too concerned with that, but there is not much of this to go around and most of us are ending up dry and we're still dealing with the clouds right now, but eventually high pressure is going to start to chip away at that, especially tomorrow. So we'll have decreasing clouds through the day as this high pressure passes to our north. That's going to bring us some sunshine, but we're also watching a system down to the south. Now this isn't going to have a big impact on our area. The biggest thing it's going to do is push some clouds up uh, from the south into the area for Sunday. So Sunday comes with more clouds attached as a result of this system getting close by and it gets just close enough where I wouldn't completely rule out maybe a stray shower south uh, as we get into Sunday night, but there's not going to be much of that rain trying to get that far north, especially with high pressure coming on the heels of this system. So if you're watching the big game, we're just looking at mainly cloudy skies throughout. Temperatures go from about 5 o'clock in the mid 40s to 40 by 9 p.m. So just a cloudy setup for most once we do get into Sunday tonight. Mostly cloudy still, a breezy setup. Winds out of the west at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then tomorrow, we'll see those temperatures return to the low to mid 40s. Clouds will be decreasing through the day. The breeze is still at about 5 to 15, so it might feel a couple degrees cooler than uh, that 43 reads on the thermometer. But you can see it's going to be a slow progression up to 40 degrees. We're going to spend the morning with these temperatures hanging out in the 20s and 30s. Then we get to noontime and we finally start to see those temperatures climbing up to uh, 43, which is about as good as it gets tomorrow. That's still several degrees above average. 38 is normal for this time of year. Sunday, we get back up to 50, so warmer temperatures there. We hang near that 50 degree mark for Monday and Valentine's Day. Temperatures these days are going to start off in the 20s, and then our temperatures jump ahead big time. And this is sort of going to uh, mimic what happened this week, where we get into Wednesday and those temperatures warm up. They warm up still on Thursday. So we're talking some mid 60s here and uh, looking at some of the modeling uh, for Thursday. Uh, a couple of the models are trying to push those temperatures back into the 70s, so we could be looking at a repeat performance, but right now uh, we're going to take the more uh, more uh, conservative approach with this and go with the 65. But anyway, you slice it very, very warm for a few days next week. Temperatures start to fall by Friday again with temps back in the 40s.